What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, I'm Melissa. Today is another day for an advanced movie screening day and it is July, y'all. It is hot. I live in Florida, so you can imagine the kind of heat. I gotta make sure I run my errands and be back home before noon because I can't do it. I'm not a summer person. I cannot wait for the fall. I cannot wait for October, my favorite month, because I am a scream queen. And that is why I'm choosing to go watch Maxine. So in terms of this whole trilogy, I have to say I am not a fan of X but I really, really liked Pearl. I really fucks with Pearl. I think Mia Goth deserved an Oscar nomination for that performance. It was fantastic. So I'm very curious about Maxine. I did see the trailers and I feel like it looks more of like a mystery versus a horror film. So I'm a little nervous about that kind of shift in tone, but maybe it'll still be good. I'm just hoping that I will still be entertained. So let's go and see if this is a good movie. Hey guys welcome back i'm back before we get into maxine i want to remind you guys that if you want to subscribe please do so i think a lot of times people think they're subscribed to a channel that they like to visit but then they actually realize that they're not so it's that red button down below and also hit the bell so that you can get no notified whenever i upload in case you guys are fans of house of the dragon i'm actually doing a live podcast right here on this channel every single week on sunday with a couple of friends it's been a roller coaster ride there's been some good episodes some not so great episodes because they're kind of boring and making ridiculous decisions but hey it is always fun to chat even if it's not always a fun episode to watch okay so let's talk about maxine it's not my favorite it's not my favorite i don't think it is a bad film i thought it was okay it is Mia Goth, so it is obviously very well performed, and I really appreciated the cinematography of this. It's lit up in this kind of like very colorful, dreamy color because it is set in Hollywood, which is the city and land of dreams. You know, everybody and their mother goes there if they want to be an actor, they want to be a singer, dancer, and whatnot. So the lighting really made sense for the environment that the characters are living in. It also makes a lot of sense for Maxine because in this movie she wants to be an actress and she gets her big break when she gets to film this religious horror movie called The Puritan 2. I think I may have benefited from watching a couple of quick recaps on YouTube because this film references things that Maxine has done in X that I just don't remember. I saw X for the first time years ago and I didn't really love that movie so I really had just like pieces of it missing from my brain so I should have done my homework but I wouldn't have known to do my homework because I'm not a big fan of X. I do love Pearl though and Pearl I would say is very much a character driven film and I think that is what resonated with me. I could really kind of like get sucked into the world. I was engrossed watching this psycho girl who really wanted her dreams to become true but she was just going about it in a very misguided way with you know homicide and then with Maxine though it is very much plot heavy you've got a lot of things going on there is a serial killer going about you have Maxine who's trying to break out of her adult film career and she wants to break into a film actress career you know with no um pornography going on and then she also is friends with the video story guy from downstairs and then there is a bunch of protests going on about the city people are protesting against these religious horror films so there's just a lot going on there's also these detectives who are after the serial killer there's a lot more going on which i'm not saying i'm not a fan of plot heavy films but i think after liking Pearl so much, I was just really hoping that I would get that same feeling again, and I just did not with Maxine. I believe if you have been a fan of the first two films though, that you may enjoy this. If you enjoy more plot-heavy films, you will like this. If you like your horror movies to be 
kind of more like horror slash mystery films, then I think you'll like this movie. I would rate this a three out of five. It'll be a generous three. Okay, because I, I don't think a three is a bad score, but I'm giving it a three mostly for the cinematography and the performances, but I probably most likely will not revisit this film. I do recommend it though, however, if you like the previous films and you're a fan of Ty West, because again, I don't think it's bad. Well, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this movie going adventure. I don't know what I'll be watching next, but as I said, I'm covering House of the Dragon every single week live on Sundays. So if you guys wanna check that out, please do so. Hit subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.